From underwater highways to sky-piercing towers, China isn't just building infrastructure, it's rewriting the laws of what's possible. But before we dive into the most insane mega projects shaking the planet in 2025 and beyond, hit that subscribe button because this is not just construction, this is engineering warfare. Stretching an awe-inspiring 55 kilometers across the South China Sea, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is more than just a bridge. It's a monumental feat of engineering that redefines what's possible in modern infrastructure. Before its completion, crossing from Hong Kong to Macau or Zhuhai meant enduring a four-hour ferry ride through choppy waters. Now, you can drive across this multifunctional megastructure in a mere 30 minutes. With a staggering price tag of $17.6 billion, this bridge isn't just merely a shortcut, it's a symbol of ambition. The bridge comprises three massive cable-stayed bridges, each designed to handle the intense traffic flow between the three cities. But what truly sets it apart is the undersea tunnel that connects Blue Dolphin Island and White Dolphin Island, carving a path beneath the sea that spans nearly 7 kilometers. To put into perspective, the tunnel's individual segments weigh more than a fully loaded aircraft carrier, a testament to the magnitude of its construction. But this isn't just about connecting cities, it's a geopolitical message. With its resilience to typhoons, earthquakes, and saltwater corrosion, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is a symbol of China's power and ability to overcome the most daunting engineering challenges. It's not simply a transportation link, it's a flex of technological dominance, stitched together by steel, tunnels, and man-made islands, each designed to withstand the elements. This bridge wasn't just built to improve transportation, it was designed to alter the course of regional politics. The new connection between Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai serves as a tangible manifestation of China's growing influence in the global infrastructure arena. Now let's move from the sea to the sky with another mind-blowing feat of engineering, the Bailong Elevator, also known as the 100 Dragons Elevator. Tucked into the sandstone cliffs of Zhangjiajie, China, this outdoor elevator is nothing short of a modern marvel. Standing at the base of a 1,000-foot cliff, you might think that reaching the summit would be a strenuous, hours-long hike. Not anymore. With the press of a button, you're whisked up to the clouds in under two minutes thanks to this vertical wonder that reaches a jaw-dropping height of 335 meters. Officially the world's tallest outdoor elevator, the Bailong Elevator blends the natural beauty of the region with the sheer audacity of modern engineering. The lower half of the elevator is embedded directly into the cliff, while the other half is a gleaming, transparent shaft that rockets visitors into the sky. As you ascend, the glass walls offer a surreal view of Zheng Zhaji's mystical landscape, jagged peaks shrouded in mist and valleys that seem to fall forever. Before the Bailong Elevator, reaching the top of the cliff would have taken visitors more than 4 hours of grueling hiking. Now, it takes just 118 seconds, revolutionizing the tourism experience and reimagining how we interact with natural landscapes. It's a fusion of technology and nature, a perfect blend of vertical engineering and scenic beauty. This isn't just a ride, it's an experience. One that propels you into the clouds and lets you witness the world from a perspective that only a few years ago seemed impossible. It's tourism, elevated to new heights. In the city dotted with monumental structures, Canton Tower stands apart, not just as a physical beacon, but as a testament to the human ingenuity and artistic vision. Rising 600 meters into the sky, it isn't merely a tower, it's a piece of sculptural art that twists and spirals with the grace of a dancer in motion. Situated in Guangzhou, this tower defies the conventional expectations of architectural design, blending form and function with seamless elegance. The design of Canton Tower is inspired by the shape of a woman's waist, giving it a distinct hourglass figure that not only captures the eye, but also symbolizes the tower's elegant yet powerful presence. Unlike other towering giants like the World Trade Center or Willis Tower, which emphasize sheer verticality, Canton Tower stands as a graceful helix cutting through the sky with fluidity and finesse. It isn't just tall, it's beautifully sculpted, redefining what we think a skyscraper can be. Inside this towering marvel lies a vertical playground, a mix of entertainment and observation that gives visitors a unique view of the world below. At 450 meters, the outdoor observation deck offers breathtaking panoramic views that stretch far into the horizon, allowing those who dare to visit to see Guangzhou in all its sprawling glory. But it's not just about the views, it's about the journey. Visitors can ascend the world's largest spiral staircase, a dizzying climb with nearly 2,000 steps that wind their way up through the tower. For those seeking a more thrilling experience, a bubble tram, a ferris wheel-like vehicle, encircles the top of the tower, giving passengers the sensation of floating above the city like satellites in orbit. 
It's an attraction that combines the thrill of a theme park with the grandeur of one of the world's tallest structures. More than just a functional building, Canton Tower redefines what a skyscraper can represent. It's not simply a statement of height, it's an expression of art in the stratosphere, melding cutting-edge design with a sense of grace. It captures the essence of human creativity, transforming the skyline into a living, breathing sculpture. The tower doesn't just rise above the city, it elevates the entire concept of what architecture can achieve. Now imagine a train that doesn't merely travel under a city or across a river. It plunges beneath the ocean itself, disappearing into the depths for over 90 kilometers. Welcome to the Bohai Strait Tunnel, an ambitious engineering feat that, when completed, will stretch 123 kilometers beneath the Bohai Sea, connecting the industrial powerhouses of Shandong and Liaoning in China. It's a project that will redefine transportation, slashing travel times between these two provinces from 8 hours by ferry or 14 hours by road to a mere 40 minutes. At a staggering cost of $36 billion, the Bohai Strait Tunnel is one of the most expensive and technically daring infrastructure projects ever conceived. In terms of scale, it will surpass other famous underwater tunnels like Japan's Saikon Tunnel, which stretches 54 kilometers, and the Channel Tunnel beneath the English Channel, which spans 50 kilometers. But China's Bohai Street Tunnel is set to double both of these monumental projects, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in tunnel construction. The technical challenges are immense. Earthquakes, underwater pressure, and the environmental impacts of such an enormous undertaking are just a few of the hurdles engineers must overcome. The project is being built with cutting-edge technology and design principles, but if it succeeds, the Bohai Street Tunnel will become the longest underwater railway in history, a bold monument to China's ambition and engineering prowess. The tunnel isn't just a passageway, it's a symbol of the future of transportation. It will make previously distant regions more interconnected, fostering economic growth and development in both Shandong and Liaoning. And while the challenges are great, the rewards are even greater. If completed, this tunnel will not just be an engineering marvel, it will be a testament to human ambition, punching straight through the sea to connect two of China's most important provinces in a way that was once unimaginable. This isn't just a train, it's a land speed revolution. A mechanical marvel that defies traditional boundaries of distance and time. The Beijing Guangzhou High Speed Rail holds the distinction of being the world's longest high speed rail line, an engineering feat stretching nearly 2,300 kilometers, weaving its way through six provinces and linking two of China's most vibrant metropolises Beijing, the political capital, and Guangzhou, the economic powerhouse. The journey of this line takes you from the historical heart of China's political structure to the booming financial hubs of the south, with the landscape transforming dramatically as the train zips through bustling cities, dense industrial zones, serene countryside, and towering mountains. The high-speed trains travel at an astonishing pace, touching speeds of up to 350 km per hour, ensuring that one exhausting 22-hour trip between these two cities is now a mere 8-hour affair. This is more than just an efficient way of traveling. It's a glimpse into the future of global transit. It's not merely a step forward in transportation, it's a leap. An almost sci-fi level of convenience, making the traditional notion of travel time seem almost obsolete. The trains glide along sleek elevated tracks, their streamlined bodies cutting through the air as if they're defying physics, transforming the vast stretches of land into a high-speed corridor of connectivity. The implications of this technological marvel ripple far beyond its impressive speed. As the backbone of China's vast high-speed rail network, this line has become the lifeblood of a new economic reality. Trade between Beijing and Guangzhou has become quicker, smoother, and more cost-effective, fostering a boom in commerce and business. The rail system isn't just bringing people closer together, it's bringing entire economies into contact, fueling new opportunities in logistics, tourism, and migration. Cities like Wuhan and Changsha, once distant and peripheral, have been pulled into the economic orbit of the country's largest hubs, transforming into bustling centers of trade and activity almost overnight. This is no longer just about connecting cities, it's about creating entirely new economic landscapes where distances don't matter and time is no longer an obstacle. In a world where we constantly see greater efficiency and precision, what if a train didn't need a driver at all? Beijing has taken a bold leap into the future with its Yanfang Metro Line, a fully automated subway system where human intervention is reduced to a minimum. Imagine a train that runs on code, sensors, and software rather than the traditional reliance on human operators. In this cutting edge system, the train doesn't need anyone at the helm. There are no steering wheels, no throttle, no manual control, just an intelligent system that ensures smooth, seamless operation with the highest level of safety and precision. 
Currently spanning just 14 kilometers, the Yanfang Metro Line might seem like a small step in the grand scheme of things, but its significance lies in what it represents, a blueprint for the future of mass transit. It's the pilot project for a citywide transformation, where entire networks of automated systems could soon replace traditional trains and buses. Every aspect of the journey is managed by sophisticated software, from opening and closing doors to executing emergency stops, from navigating obstacles to maintaining passenger comfort. This subway line is the epitome of how far technology has come in terms of urban infrastructure. It's no longer science fiction, it's reality. As cities around the world continue to grapple with congestion, pollution, and the strain on traditional transportation systems, the Yanfang Metro Line offers a glimpse into a new way of navigating urban spaces. No longer will human drivers be required to endure grueling shifts or deal with the stress of heavy traffic. Instead, AI, powered by vast amounts of data, will take over, ensuring that trains move efficiently, quickly, and safely, all without a single human hand on the wheel. As this model expands across Beijing, the ripple effects will be felt across the globe. The potential for fully automated mass transit systems will change the way we think about city living, reducing commuting times, enhancing convenience, and significantly cutting down on human error. The future of travel within cities? It's already here. It's automated, it's efficient, and it's coming to a city near you. From above, Beijing Daxing International Airport looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. Its sprawling design mimics the shape of a starfish, with five elegantly curving arms extending from the central core. But this is no mere abstract design. It's a symbol of the future of flight, reimagining how we travel, connect, and experience airports. Located 46 kilometers south of Beijing, Daxing stands as the largest airport terminal in the world, covering an astonishing 700,000 square meters. Designed by the late, legendary architect Zaha Hadid, the airport embodies her signature organic flowing lines. Gone are the sharp edges and rigid layouts of traditional terminals. In their place, Daxing's architecture evokes a sense of movement and fluidity, designed to reduce congestion and improve the passenger experience. Each of the five arms is connected to the central terminal, ensuring that travelers have minimal walking distances no matter where they're headed. At its core, Daxing is about efficiency. With the ability to handle 72 million passengers annually, it already ranks as one of the busiest airports in the world. But the true ambition of the airport lies in its future. Plans are in place to expand its capacity to 100 million passengers, making it not just a hub for Beijing, but for international travelers across the globe. Its design has redefined the airport as a space that's not just functional, but also visionary. An airport built for the 21st century. And it's not just about size or design. Daxing is a beacon of technological innovation. The airport uses smart sensors, facial recognition technology, and AI-driven logistics systems to streamline everything from baggage handling to security checks. It's a fully integrated high-tech ecosystem that not only improves operational efficiency, but also enhances the passenger experience. Imagine walking through a terminal that anticipates your needs before you even realize them. This is the level of automation and sophistication that Daxing promises. The moment you step into Daxing, you're not just in an airport. You're standing at the gateway to the next generation of air travel. It's not simply a place where planes land and take off. It's a launch pad for the future. An airport that's designed to adapt, evolve, and reshape how we think about travel. Daxing is a vision made real. A place that signals what airports will look like in the future. Faster, smarter, and more connected than ever before. In every corner, from its architectural flow to its cutting-edge technology, Beijing Daxing International Airport represents the evolution of human ambition. It's a building designed to keep pace with the ever-changing world, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in air travel. That's just the beginning, and we haven't even touched what's happening under lakes, inside mountains, or beyond city skylines. China isn't just building big, it's building the future. And if these projects are any sign of what's coming next, we're all playing catch-up. So here's the question, which of these projects blew your mind the most? Was it the tunnel under the ocean? The elevator built into a cliff? Or the airport that looks like a starfish from another planet? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video with us and catch you in the next one.